So as we continue in this series on self-mastery, I want to continue just to lay down some fundamental principles before we get into the nitty-gritty about self-mastery. Now, something that is so, so important, and please, please hear this. Self-mastery, Christian self-mastery, is not about kind of trying a little harder. Or, 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 you know, exercising a little more willpower or motivating yourself to be more pumped. That element of self-mastery is, is what we call cooperation. And that's part of self-mastery, but it's a secondary part of Christian self-mastery. Christian self-mastery, the primary part, the primary work or, or, or power of Christian self-mastery is grace. And this is so, so important. I want to read to you from scriptures, so, uh, some scriptures, okay? Let's begin with Zechariah chapter 4, verse 6. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. Let's look at um, John chapter 15, verse 5. Jesus says, without me, you can do nothing. In Luke Chapter 24, verse 49, Jesus says, And behold, I send the promise of my Father upon you. He's speaking about the Holy Spirit. But stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. And then finally, one more scripture. Uh, Philippians 4, verse 13. I can do all things in Him who strengthens me. And so again, as Christians, our effort to gain dominion over ourselves comes primarily and first through the grace and the power of the Holy Spirit. It's, it's more God's work than it is our work. And the image I like to use is the image of trying to cross the ocean. If you get into a boat and start rowing across the ocean, you'll probably never make it. But if you have a boat that has a beautiful large sails, the power of the wind can carry you across the ocean. And a lot of us, you know, in our efforts to, to gain self-mastery, it's like we're, we're rowing and rowing, we're working harder and harder and exhausting ourselves. And guess what we need to do? We need to let go of the oars, open the sails, and let God, through His Spirit, give us freedom. So again, please hear this. We need the grace of the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit, the strength of the Holy Spirit. Once we've given ourselves over to God's grace and His power, then we can do our part to cooperate. So again, as we seek Christian self-mastery, it must be while constantly relying and being open and begging God for the grace of the Holy Spirit, His power from on high. 